Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vermont Scale Customs. How's everybody doing? So, um, I bought yet another micro. Um, I found this on the Super 24 page over at Facebook. Um, it actually popped up in the form of a reply to someone else in a comment thread that was trying to remind them that they still had this chassis for sale. And this was basically a built rig. Um, and so once I saw it, took a look at the whole parts breakdown on the listing and stuff like that, it didn't really take too much time for me to decide to get it. And the reason is, is because one, number one, it's winter and we just got like another 10 inches of snow and it's 13 degrees, negative 13 degrees. At least it was this morning when I woke up and, uh, yeah, you know, a person just gets, I don't know, to a point where they just want to get all set up for summer. And so you just buy another crawler or two. Um, anyway, let's get down to business on this thing. It's running uh, Mofo RC Nano Beast in there, uh, Fury Tech Lizard Pro, NSD RC RS100 Servo. Uh, we got Little Guy Racing Wheels on there. Um, it's running Injora Oil Shocks. And uh, let's see what else. Um, basically like a no name, uh, nylon portal axle, uh, the kinds that have the sort of truss looking top on them. And then this whole chassis and links setup, uh, is a complete one of a kind custom build, uh, produced by, um, Albin designed A L B I N underscore designed. And you can find them over at Instagram. That's currently their only online presence that they have uh and he's got plenty of photos up of some of the work that he's been doing he also makes uh transmission mounts and stuff like that does a lot of mill work uh for scx 24 components some high performance components and so this chassis uh consists out of essentially titanium uh frame rails and then an aluminum side panels and then of course 3d printed hood and roof and uh resin printed skid uh, he also sent through, um, another additional four skid plates, um, a couple of roofs and another hood as well, just as spare parts and other stuff, just in case I decide to, you know, want to modify those or do anything with them, which is something I did do last night. I did a little bit of paint work on one of the two additional roofs that he sent through, um, so, so far in running this, <clears throat> I have discovered a couple of different things. Um, it, number one, it, it has its own personality in every way. Uh, the portal axles certainly make it an entirely different machine, and I've never had a set of portals in 24 scale, so it's pretty interesting seeing just how they perform compared to, you know, essentially running straight axles for the last three years since I've been into SCX24 stuff. Um, it reminds me so much of how the Jeep Rubicon runs almost fresh out of the box just because of the way it tilts and tips, but then it has a little bit more additional articulation and so much more power because of the brushless motor that it gives you a whole ton of other options for being able to navigate some lines that you really probably wouldn't be able to get with say like a Rubicon fresh out of the box. So like I say, it reminds me of that, but then it's just clearly built entirely differently. It's weight focus, it's weight bias, it's link setup and everything obviously lends itself to a completely different realm. So while I say in some situations, it reminds me of a Rubicon and how they tip around and stuff like that. This thing's got some breakover capabilities and some nice steering angle uh, approach. You know, you can just kind of twist around and navigate some lines that you wouldn't normally be able to get. And so you can, here's a really good example of, of basically how that thing just kind of noodles right up some stuff. And it gets a little bit of belly hung here, but once again, you can sort of kind of twist and move around and get up over some things. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I was doing some work on just some breakover stuff the other day and uh, really found that it was just super easy to uh, just get one leg up in the rear and then snap the next one up and over.
All right, so this third climb is actually kind of a little bit more, I don't know, kind of a showcase, I guess, on this. Um, like right here, your steering angle, it just works so well. And it's a good a good indicator of how, how much that can help you in so many ways. See that creepy G made logo in the background there. That is like, it has got to be one of the weirdest logos in the whole RC business I think I've ever seen. <clears throat> so it kind of slips a little bit to the to the right, driver's right, but it still holds on just enough to be able to get that front tire on there. And you see it kind of load up a little bit, but it's already picked the the left rear wheel up. And that is because it is, you know, it reaches its articulation limit right there, but. I like what it does because it's running a set of anti-foams in there. They're not the flubber stuffers. This is actually like a set from Nick Alvin himself that he had 3D printed. And uh, I, I, it's my first set of anti-foams and I, I, I have my mixed feelings about at least how they're performing. I really do like the squish and, and complete like compression of, of, a, of a nice well uh, made foam, you know, like even a dual stage or what have you. Um, especially when they're properly set up. Uh, but I do like what this does for a couple of things as far as like uh, how it lets the tire collapse, but it doesn't uh, totally fold on the side hill. Uh, but I still think that it kind of makes uh, things a little stiff. As you can see right here, this thing kind of slipped on that. And I've almost stopped the video, but I saw that it was still making forward progress. And if I kept it st steered over to the left, I was absolutely blown away that it bit onto the side of what I call the culvert right there, and it managed to get the right front tire back up and over. That's all for this one, folks. This rig is amazing. You're gonna see a lot more of this thing uh, along with the Dementor V2 in the summer. So thanks for watching. Stick around for some more stuff. I'm gonna do some more running videos with this in the indoor course. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.